Counseling Micro Skills, Offering Immediacy with Gina Co and Sandra Collins. Sandra, you mentioned you work with Melissa J a few times already. Tell me more about, about the work you're doing together. Probing. Well, we're working on a new book on a decolonial approach to multicultural counseling. Um, yeah, it's just very exciting because I'm having an opportunity to have conversations with uh, Indigenous folks and just have these conversations about how um, really leaning into starting from an Indigenous perspective, um, actively stepping outside of a Eurocentric individualist worldview, how that can be um, uh, transforming for how we approach therapy generally and, and in particular um, conversations where we are trying to attend to the culture that we all bring to the counseling um, process clients and therapists. So I'm excited about that. And throughout the last minute, I can see you. You're smiling right now. I was gonna say, I can see your 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 enthusiasm through your body language, your smiles, and offering immediacy, and even your words like transforming. I love that word. You know, in terms of um, Sandra, like again, I've said this in prior sessions. Beyond living it personally, you 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 are integrating this professionally in in all areas of of your life. Offering affirmations. And this book sounds amazing. I can't wait to, to read it. Self-disclosing. It's interesting because I've been thinking about it in the context of people retiring. And, you know, I originally I pictured I would retire and I would pick up, spend more time on my art and, you know, get involved in the community and do more gardening. And I want to do all of those things. But I also realized that um, my, even though I'm done with academia, my, my work is not done. Um, so yeah, so I'm feeling really, um, I'm feeling really pulled towards this work and maybe in a different way than other times in my life, because I feel like I'm totally free to, um, do whatever I want and say whatever I want. <laughs> and, yeah, it's, there's, and it's not like there was like a thumb on top of me, but but academia is not is can be a very oppressive environment, and um, you know even just how how we write and what we write and um, yeah, so I feel this freedom now. Mm -hmm. like I feel yeah, freedom is a good word and yes yeah. <laughs> and uh you feel it and i can i can see it well i i noticed the, the more of the lightness offering immediacy and more of a you said i can do whatever i want it's it's freedom and and it can incorporate art gardening and and and, and work towards it more in this area with melissa j i feel more congruent you no, know, so so there's more of a. I mean, Melissa and I talk a lot about wholeness and integration from an indigenous perspective, and I feel like um, being out of academia, I'm I'm I have this sort of sense of being more like things are more integrated. I'm more like my whole self. Um, and so all of those pieces can flow together in a different way instead of work often pulling me away from what I think is the core me. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I'm just feeling it's like almost like I'm wrapped up in this um, incongruence and yeah. Sandra, I notice that you're, I, I see you're, you're, you're hugging yourself, you're, you're, you're comforting yourself, you're, you're embracing your wholeness. Is that what's, what you just did that? Offering immediacy. Yeah, I think that is a representation of that sort of sense of <sighs> breathing into <sighs> being myself and being my more whole self in a different way. Yeah, I, 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 I hear, I caught the word embracing and you are embracing yourself, so. Offering immediacy. Yeah, thanks, that's helpful.